Hi everybody, it's Jan from the mountain and this week I have been thrifty. I've got a small haul, vintage haul to show you and finally I'm knitting again. Thank goodness. I went to Pisa with my daughter to a thrift shop that we actually found on Google Maps in places of interest. We're just waiting for it to open here. Um, it opened in the afternoon at 3.30 and we were five minutes early. There was a nearby bar where we had a nice uh, espresso, a good espresso coffee just to kill a bit of time. And we're just here waiting for the, the, uh, the shop to open. It turned out that there was a very kind lady who was shopkeeping for the day and she was very lovely and she opened up. Inside there was everything, it was very clean, this gorgeous dressing table mirror here but I have one like this in my bedroom. The shop was actually very well ordered, as I said it was clean, there was a selection of handbags from very expensive to very affordable. It's gorgeous little ceramics and ornaments and little pots in blues and whites. After that shop, and we did buy some items there, uh, we went to a consignment store also in Pisa. So this, I'm always one for a jacket. This is Massimo Dutti in a check, a woolen check. But at 42 euros it was actually more than I wanted to spend. The furniture there was quite good but I'm not a fan of the big bulky furniture you often find in vintage stores here. Um, but there were some lovely items and I thought the prices here were quite good. Um, for example this sofa was a good price for less than 200 euros I think it was about 150 and this unusual wooden box I really liked I didn't buy it I, I did well I haven't really got anywhere to put it at the moment but I actually fell in love with it because I loved the grain and the way it was polished and it was only 35 euros I thought that was a really good buy this little white sofa needed reupholstering, but it was a, a good buy. And this little sofa and tub chair, which would have gone well in a bedroom if it was large enough. I loved these two chairs and they were very affordable, only 30 euros a piece. Um, all in all, with this consignment store, I was impressed by uh, the prices and the size. I'm lighting a fire and then I'm going to change my sweater and I will show you my haul, my small vintage haul. I need to just clean up a little bit. The fire has got a lot of ash that's built up and I just need to clean that out of the way. need to vacuum before I do anything because some of the ash has spilt and unfortunately my vacuum is blocked. I need to change the bag and the filter I think because it just hasn't been working properly. So before I do anything else I'm going to change this very full vacuum cleaner bag and get it sorted out. But let's just speed this up for you. and done. So I'm off vacuuming all the ash that's spilt and then I'll get the fire 
lit and I'll do so I'll clean the rug and I'll show you the haul that I got this week. I'm just using some newspaper because we haven't got very much kindling so I'm making newspaper knots and my mum used to do these when I was young to light the fire and they just help get it going. I've got some natural fire lighters which are very good but um, you really do need some thin branches and kindling to get these fires going really efficiently so just going to get my bits and bobs and I can get the fire built to make my room lovely and cosy so that I can show you my haul. I've just been start trying to strip some bark off the bigger logs to, <coughs> excuse me, help uh, light the fire, the logs are going in and we're nearly ready to light it. still needs a little bit more bark and kindling though, I'm not sure it'll get going really well but it's really sparse with this load of wood that we bought. We do have in the bucket some wood dust, we've got quite a lot of this and this does, does tend to help the fire light so I'm going to throw some of that in before I actually set fire to everything. this natural fire lighter. It's very good. And they're very good in barbecues as well, these, these fire lighters. They're kind of twisted straw. While this fire is getting going, I'm going to very quickly just vacuum up around the rug and then I'll show you my vintage haul. Here we are, I've put my items out. I didn't get a lot and I've included a couple of things I got from Ikea which I, I called into in Pisa. I bought this plant and I wanted to hang it from the beams. I've already got an ivy hanging up and I wanted another dangly plant. And this one has got quite thick heart-shaped leaves and it's kind of stringy but I just I like it, I just, it's a bit different, it's not particularly bushy, 
it's stringy and uh, I just think it would look very nice in my space if I just get this label off the pot. It needs the leaves teasing out but I'm gonna I was going to make a macrame um, hanger, plant pot hanger, but I was just haven't got the time. I, I'm not an expert and I need to learn. So I bought this pretty little basket one from IKEA, with just a handful of euros, and I'm just gently teasing out the um, little branches and fronds of the plant. Just so that it doesn't look all, all clumpy, and I just want to spread out the um, stalks and uh, fronds so that um, it looks more balanced. Although I am having them just out of one side at the moment because there aren't enough to uh, distribute them evenly right the way around. I think at the moment it would look better just having them um, hanging out of just one side. My favourite buy, I think, was from the first shop. It cost me five euros. Um, it would have gone down in price in another couple of weeks because items after a month go down in price. But I just love the colour. I just love the texture. It's varnished though and not polished. I've probably overpaid. But I just, I just fell in love with it. I like it. So I'm going to find a special little place to put this turtle. I also got from the first shop a green leather belt. I paid four euros for it and I think it will go absolutely perfectly with the green linen dress that I thrifted when I was visiting my mum in England recently. So I'm absolutely delighted with that and um, the dress can be dressed up with a chain belt I think or just look smart and casual with this green leather belt and the belt will also go with jeans and trousers so I'm delighted. I got this scarf, I didn't take it out of the bag and I should have done. It cost me one euro, it didn't cost me a lot of money. I was drawn to the colours in it but I, sh I didn't take it out to examine it and it hasn't got hand rolled hems and it isn't silk and it was actually branded L'Oreal. It's not really what I was looking for but for a euro I just took the gamble. It's a pretty scarf so I'll probably sell it. I got this candlestick in the consignment store which was the bigger store we went to afterwards. It's very, it's ceramics, it's very pretty and I do like anything blue and white. It looks so fresh and this looks hand painted. I I just liked it and I would like to find another one very similar actually so I can have a pair. So I'm going to find a lovely place for it. studio nicely. You know I think I'm going to hang the plant. I'm just going to go and get my ladders. I have left, I had hanging lanterns at Christmas time and I've left 
deliberately one or two hooks in because I wanted to put some plants hang them from the beams my cats like to eat my plants it's very difficult for me to have plants on shelves or on the ground well one of my cats it's not both of them so I love plants and greenery so I thought I would hang them from the beams and I think this looks really cute This is the other part of my studio, by the way. I have a small sitting room at the back and we read and relax. At last I'm knitting. This is my spinning stash, my spun, hand spun wool stash. As you can see, I've got a lot that needs to be dyed. I've got lots of different shades of natural wool as well as colours. I I've done the ribbing on a sweater that I'm doing. I'm adapting the pattern. It's a pullover, sleeveless pullover, and instead of doing front and back, I've decided to try and knit it in the round. Now, unless I change my mind, I'm going to be doing colour work on this kind of a fair isle type of design. And I've finished my dark brown, the Zvart Blesswood wool that I have. I've finished, I have some to spin, but I have wool on my bobbins, I can't spin any now. And I don't know if you're like me, but I get very excited about my knitting and I don't like to wait. But this is the ribbing I've done with, this is a French wool and it's given its beige colour by those chem pairs in it. Now, uh, this is supposed to be the dark brown and I, I've been wondering whether I should go gold or dark green. Now, when I was looking at these yarns, I thought I would go for gold. But since I've rewatched the video to do the voiceover, I'm leaning more towards the dark green now. So, stay tuned next week because I will be, my next video will have my knitting progress and you'll be able to see which colour that I've actually chosen. Just going to put my stash back, although I will need to get it out again because I got the gold out, but I really do think now I'm going to probably do the dark green. I might just do a, a sample of both and see which I like the best. I'll just put my trusty spinning wheel back and I'd like to say thank you very much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time for some knitting updates and more thrifting and hauls. Bye for now.